Hi, Dr. Turpo. Hey there. It's How good, are you? Good. It's good to see you. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. It has. <laughs> and I'm so excited that you were able to join me today. Uh, I, I've been following you on Instagram and, um, and I just saw you on I started following you maybe six months ago and I thought, wow, he would be perfect because uh, the best interviewer is you. We, you know, I'm talking today about walking in truth and uh, what better person uh, to talk about that than the person who actually knows my truth. Mm -hmm. You were my counselor many years ago. I would say about probably 15 years ago, we saw you for a couple of sessions. And um, so lot. you know my truth <laughs> more so than a yeah. lot of people. And yeah. um, so I thought... <laughs> I gotta ask him. I'm like, I'm gonna ask him if he'd come and be on my show and 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 talk and and talk about what I really want to talk about because um, I wrote a book, of course, part of my truth. And um, my book talks about my husband, as you know, when we went to counseling, his struggle with homosexuality, which became my struggle, mm -hmm. and we didn't know what to do with that, so we came to you. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, today we're divorced and. Because uh, of course, you, you know, we had to make some de decisions and that's what, that's our decision. We came to a point to where, you know, if you need to go his way, do his thing. And I did mine, but um, I, I stress all the time to people, people go, you know, what happened in your marriage? And I go, well, we didn't talk about our truth. People were shocked when we went through our divorce because um, they just knew us as good people who raised wonderful kids and they never knew our hidden struggle. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to talk about that because a lot of us, not just me, but so many other people uh, don't walk in their truth in their marriages and relationships. And um, they don't understand how important it is to do so. And I'm watching and I see so many marriages that fail. And I, you know, I want to scream and say, it's because you probably wasn't walking in your truth, whatever the case may be. Right. Um, it, you know, um, people don't communicate in marriages and relationships. You know, you meet someone and everybody wants to know all the beautiful things about that person as far as what the, the, all the accolades, you know, what they do, the money they make, how they look, you know, how funny they, all those things that are if, you know, that are good, but nobody wants to know about the deep seated things that people are dealing with, like alcohol, you know, pornography. It might be that this person is a liar or this person had some insecurities when they were young uh, or old and are still dealing with uh, insecurities today. And so they hide these truths and, and, and it comes out in the marriage because you can only pretend for so long that you're, um, uh, you can only pretend who you are for so long and then you come out and mm -hmm. then you find out one day who is this person who did I marry and why are we going through this you know and now you got two people who don't understand each other nevertheless know each other because they never walked in their truth in the beginning right. so I <laughs> so as you being a professional, I'm sure you deal with this all the time because you deal with married, married people, married couples, and you hear so many different stories about uh, people coming in and trying to save their marriage or, you know, fighting for their marriage and trying to get down to the root of it. But um, for me personally, I say that the root of it is hidden truth. A lot of it is. That's my story. But yeah. I know as a professional, you can tell... <laughs> You, you know, you, you have a lot of insight on why people choose not to walk in their truth in relationships because you hear this stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. So I asked you to come and be a part, you know, just kind of partner with me today because it's something I went through my own truth, walking in my truth. Of course, you know, like I said, uh, my husband struggled with homosexuality and that meant we both struggled because his hidden struggle became mine and we both didn't know what to do with that. So we dealt with it in ways that was not good. We were toxic, you know, we were angry. Um, he, uh, it was the shame, it was the guilt and it was the fear of it all. Uh, afraid of losing what was important to us, family. And um, 
you know, it was a battle. I was married for 34 years, but I spent the last 20 years, you know, um, dealing with uh, issue mentally because of course, like I said, my ex was not able to talk about his issue. And I may have played a part in that as mm -hmm. well, because, you know, when a person does come clean, you know, you, you get to a point to where you, you're confused, you know, you're married. Why didn't you tell me this before? Why do I, why are you saying this now? And now who are you? So I would like for you to share with us, you know, um, this audience today about why truth is walking in truth is so important. And, um, and even so at what, what point do we walk in truth? Because uh, like I said, as a therapist and you're seeing marriage counseling, doing marriage counseling, I'm sure you're seeing the same thing over and over and over again. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, um, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, you know, and, I, and you so eloquently, uh, 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 expressing the importance of uh, walking in our truth and expressing our truth. Um, I, I, I wrote a book called The Harmonious Way. And uh, it's uh, The Harmonious Way, Find um, Love and Marriage by Playing Your True Note. And, wow. And basically, it's about the very thing that you're talking about. Oh, and, awesome. Um, like I said, it's an Essence Magazine bestseller. And um, it... Uh, I'll tell you a story. You, you, as you were talking, I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking about uh, my first marriage, and um, we were young in our twenties. We got married, uh, but as the closer we got to the uh, wedding, uh, she started withdrawing from me. I'm like, "What the hell is going on? What, what's this about? <laughs> you weren't acting like this before. <laughs> what's going on?" And then it finally, uh, after we got married, we, we got counseling, but it just became more and more apparent. Her true self was coming out um, and her truth was coming out. And it was definitely uh, apparent that she was not, at that time at least, uh, marriage material. She was not ready to be, to be married. Hmm. Um, and uh, because of her hiding that truth, <laughs> right right not having the courage to express that truth uh there were consequences we got married a whole bunch of money spent on a wedding um, she's feeling uh trapped i'm feeling uh insane like i'm going crazy disappointment heartache I got so down uh, one time I uh, checked myself into a hospital because I was having uh, suicidal type thoughts. And so all that, wow. you know, all that uh, because um, not sharing truth. Absolutely. And, you know, wow. I look, yeah, I look back at that. And uh, I would often say, man, if she was just had expressed her truth early on, then we would avoid it all that. Mm -hmm. But as we were approaching the wedding, oh, it's just Kofi, I'll be okay. Well, I don't know, it's, it's, it's fine, just jitters and, but the behavior, you know, in psychology we know, or as therapists, the counselors, we know if, um, if a person if, says one thing but behaves another way, um, ignore, ignore what they say and watch what, and watch what they do. Mm. what they do is the truth absolutely right yeah absolutely it's a, it's a good lie detector <laughs> <laughs> so um even though her, oh i'll be okay no i'm good i'm good i'm good but the behavior over here is like you're doing this you're running from me and so uh i look back and say man i wish she had the courage to, uh to tell her truth that she wasn't ready and I look, I look at that, and I also look at um, the the youthfulness being in our early twenties. Yes. Uh, uh, the youthfulness too is uh, a, some people don't know what their truth is. <laughs> yeah, when you're young, that was me. Yeah, we were just young and foolish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Young and foolish, not not mature enough um, to uh, really be able to think about these things in that manner and to be courageous, you know, just mm -hmm. in life period, it takes courage to be. 
It takes courage to love. It takes, courage to, it takes courage to express our truth. Yes, and, it does. And the older I get, the more I recognize that. And uh, yeah. go ahead. Wow. No, I was going to say, you said something right there that was so, you said the older you get, you recognize it. And, and I think that's one of the downfalls of um, people walking in truth because they're young, you know, they don't understand what, what truth is or yeah. haven't been taught yeah. what, what truth is or, you know, walking in truth, uh, being open, being honest in a relationship. You know, I think it's all about when you get married young, it's the lust, you're in love, I like you, you like me, you know, you're thinking about, you know, the career and this and that, and you're not so much focused on truth. And then when you get older and you start experiencing life and you start experiencing the person, then you find out, huh, well, it's so much to this person than I, I knew or that I wanted to know, Yeah, you know. In, in my book, I say the way you get a compatible relationship is you have uh, two people and both people expressing who they truly are, mm -hmm. playing, playing their true note, shall I say. If we're oh, wow. playing our true note, then we can find another note that we can harmonize with, and then we can uh, uh, make beautiful music together. Right. But if I'm playing my true note and you're not playing your true note, you're just trying to force your note to fit with mine. Eventually, when your true note happens, it's going to sound, you know, mucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to sound harmonious. Clanking symbols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to sound too good. Right. So not to mention, if you get two people uh, not playing their true notes, then again, it's not going uh, to go well. So we do people a service when we play our true note when we're honestly and openly who we are, we're doing the world a service because now um, you know this is who you're gonna get, I know who I'm gonna get, and then we'd be able to make a good decision. But if, if somebody's not playing their true note, they're not walking in their truth, then uh, it's gonna really cause some damage and some negative consequences. Absolutely. Who you can relate to. Definitely. Breakdown of communication is the main one. You stop talking yeah. because now it's hard to understand that person. And, um, and you're, you know, you, when you become frustrated and I'm speaking from my own self, you know, yeah. becoming frustrated and, and um, not, under, not knowing what to do. Yeah. You're fighting for, it almost seems like you're fighting for air. It's like, you know, first of all, how do we get here? And now that we're here, what do we do with this? And you're moving on because by now you have kids, you know, you're trying to, you're maturing in life, you're trying to find yourself yeah. and it becomes difficult because now you, you have so many other things that, you know, by now you're paying bills, you're trying to, you know, you're taking care of home and now you got this issue that is in the way. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. Like in your instance, if he had been communicating his truth early on, then all this would could have been avoided. Absolutely. It would have been avoided because number one, I wouldn't have gotten married. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it would have changed the course of our lives. Yeah. You know, yeah, I wouldn't have signed up for that, you know, and um, and I know it's difficult when we're when we're young and, you know, trying to do life. And we all make that one mistake of what I call we get into our feelings, you know, what we feel. And, and when we feel so strong, when we want something so bad, we, we, we tend to do bad, th wrong things. Mm -hmm. We, for, you know, even if the, if the red light was blinking hard, <laughs> you know, we still, we see all the signs, all the warning lights, but still, you know, it just feels good to us. You know, this feels, it feels good and we'll, we can, we'll make it happen. We'll make it right or it'll be right, or it'll go away. And I think in our sense, you know, it was, a, it was, it was that factor of, I think with my ex, it was more of, it'll go away. This is just a feeling and it's gonna go away because, you know, I love her and I wanna be with her and, you know, I want family and this and that, and it'll go away. Mm -hmm. But it never went away, mm -hmm. you know? Right, never went away. So it's about being uh, who we truly are, playing our true note and letting that be seen, not hide it. Not hide it. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. what do you do 
I guess I could say, um, what do you tell, what do you tell couples when they take off their mask? Because at some point in time, even when a person take their mask off, it, it can, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that things are going to be better. It makes the situation better. You know, when a person comes out and say, you know, Hey, uh, I've been doing pornography for the last 10 years. Now you're dealing with a situation where, whether it be the husband or the wife, this is not always the husband, you're, you're dealing with that denial, I guess the, re, the betrayal of, you did that to me. And now it's almost like you're, it's like a divorce mm -hmm. because now you're trying to stay, um, stay connected, but you don't know how to do that because now you don't trust this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what would you advise when the trust is gone? Yeah, well, I mean, and that's what hurts the most is that you get something gets revealed to you that you had no idea and just kind of really uh, changes your perception. This is why it's good to to be um, to be that naked, to be that raw um, early on. <laughs> it's because mm -hmm. if you're raw early on, and I find this about you, whatever it is about you, you can say pornography or you know whatever drinking, whatever it, it is, I, yeah. If just I, a liar yeah yeah if i find that out about you <laughs> now at least i can make an honest choice whether or not i still want to be with you you mm -hmm. know and say okay if you're doing that okay well you know what oh i'm so glad you said that i do that too <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so now we can even feel more we're eight, right <laughs> together <laughs> we can go through that journey together right or 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 say, or you could say, you do what? Oh, wow. You know what? Um, I can't deal with that. I'm out. Mm -hmm. Both yeah. of those are acceptable choices and decisions. Right. At least the person gets to choose. I've heard per so many people say, at least if you had just been honest with me, mm -hmm. then I would have helped, I've had the option to make the decision. It's, what hurts the most is that you were not honest with me. That's what mm -hmm. hurts most because you took away my choice, my options of what I what I could have done. Right. Oh, that's good. You understand what I'm saying? Oh my God, he took my choice away. Wow. Taking that's a, a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you took my choice away. <laughs> yeah. When you're when you're not honest, you take people's choice away. Just be honest and let me decide. I've heard people say, let me decide if I still want to be with you or not. Right. Oh wow. You know. Um, and we can work through this. Or we can say, I don't want to work through this. I've had people hide kids <laughs> and didn't know, <laughs> didn't know. Well, he told me about the first two, but he didn't tell me about the last one. Oh my gosh. And they've been oh married kids. Goodness. And, I've, and I haven't, that's not a one-time story. I've heard that several times. Really? Yeah, people hiding kids. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty serious. <laughs> I know. Imagine you got what another kid? What? Right. And uh -huh. what hurts is that you didn't. You didn't you tell didn't me. Know. Mm -hmm. If you had told me wow. that, then I could have made the decision. Okay, I'll still be with you, or I could have made the decision that hey, that's not. This is not gonna work. Yeah. And the, re the reason people aren't honest, one of the reasons, one of the big reasons why people are honest, the reason why people hide their truth is because they're afraid of judgment. Oh. Okay. They're afraid of negative judgment. <laughs> this is the beauty of, I mean, yeah, this is the beauty of the story uh, that's told in uh, Genesis in the Bible. It's a beautiful story. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, the characters of Adam and Eve. They're born and, and they were told to, they, they could eat from any tree in the garden, uh, but the one tree that it could, there's only one tree that it could not eat from, and that was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. It wasn't an apple, it wasn't sex. <laughs> right. The name of the tree was the knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. What's right and what's wrong. And he said, uh, and then once they ate of that tree, the, the God told them not to eat from it. That is when they no longer had an Edenic type marriage or relationship now that we got good and evil going on and the knowledge of it now people are feeling criticized and judged right. absolutely and now uh humanity doesn't like judgment so what did they do they put on clothes 
Absolutely. They hide themselves. Mm -hmm. And God is love. And so now they're hiding themselves and love is in the garden looking for them and say, where are you? And then the response is, um, we were naked and ashamed. Right. And who told you you were naked? Who told you you were naked? You know, who, the, you know, this is love saying, who told you you were naked? Yes. You know, uh, now we separate ourselves from God. We separate ourselves from love because we were fearing judgment and criticism because now people are eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Right. To me, to me it's a beautiful story. It is. Yeah. And um, to me, uh, that's what goes on in humanity. Exactly. We're, we're afraid of being judged. This is why we wear clothes. It, you this know. is why we perform. Yeah, yeah. Every day we, you know, we get up and we perform, whether it be for our boss, our coworkers, yeah. our friends, our yeah. wives, husbands. We perform every day. We get up on we get up and get on that stage, put that mask on, and we become whoever the outside needs us to be, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, you know, you gotta be the smart, intelligent person on your job because that's how you keep your job. It's you know, you gotta be the the nurturing mother, the the, the husband that's, you know, taking care of home, the financial, you got to, it's so many um, roles we play. And so, but the only role we don't play out is our true selves. Mm -hmm. You know, we yeah. can make, we can work out every other role. We can be whatever we can, we perform all day. And I mentioned, I had a, uh, there's a chapter in the book. I talk about, you know, wearing mask. You know, it's so, you know, we get up, we look good, lights, camera, and actions, and here we go, you know, and we do our little dilly dad all day long. And then when the curtains close and we're behind and the lights go out and we go behind stage and we do our, you know, we do our bow and then get off the stage and then take the mask off. And then in the, the wee of the morning, we're still sitting there thinking about, who am I? And, yeah. you know, we forget about everything that we did in that day. And we start to focus on our own selves, our fears, you know, everything that, that we uh, deal with in life, the insecurities, you know, our hurts, mm -hmm. our pain, you know, everything comes. And then, you know, we don't know what to do with that. Yeah. Other than cover it. We don't even know how to talk about that because nobody really wants to listen about that part. And then the shame of right. that part, because we always have to look good. It's all about looking good. Right. Society tells us to look good. You see it because it's in the magazines. It's on TV. You know, we hear it. Everything talks about bling bling to, you know, the ring ring and the gowns and all the lights, camera and actions. And so no, there's no room to see the what's real what what's real what's taking place in our lives is real what we're dealing with when we lay our head down on that pillow that's real what we don't tell anybody that's real you know so this is why having a, a, a good marriage partner is so important you know absolutely I, yeah i'm i'm grateful for my wife we've been married 30 years now and it's and oh wow very uh, happily married. And one of the things that's most attractive about her is always since day one is how genuine she is. Right. Oh, wow. How she lets her truth be known. You know? Yeah. And so I, I appreciate that, you know. Um, yeah. Sometimes I say, you know, tone it down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I say, congratulations. <laughs> what she'll a blessing. Let, she'll, let me know. <laughs> she'll let me know. She'll let me know. Or that I'm not pleasing in certain ways. And uh, I say, okay, well, good thing I got strong self-esteem, but I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So, but, you know, we don't, we're not, we're not, we're not absolutists. I mean, uh, let's be real. Nobody is completely candid, truth all the time type person. Mm -hmm. And the other extreme is somebody who's completely, uh, no truth coming out. Uh, whatsoever and those those people are you know sociopathic type <laughs> right <laughs> not letting you see anything constantly anything, going, oh, right that's an extreme most of us though are somewhere in between mm -hmm. depending on what we're going the time of day like you mentioned or what's going on in our life and we go back and forth 
about how much of our truth we let out and, and that type of thing. So uh, right. we, we need to be able to express more. Uh, I'm with you. We need to come more over this way and express it, be our honest selves and, and be in touch with our truth and express it not only verbally, but in the way we live our lives too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because the truth definitely makes you free. You yep. know, yep. It's, 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 it feels good when you're walking in your truth and there's nothing. One of the big, biggest things that happened to me when I was able to share my truth was the weight of the, that it was that heaviness of, I can't even explain it. It was just this heaviness every day that, I can't say every single day, but yeah. a lot of times it was this heaviness of, it was that, like you could never get rid of that little thought of what's going on, what's going on, you know? And once, once I was free, oh boy, I began to realize who I was as a person you know, and experience me. I had, it was so much about me. I had, I had forgotten mm -hmm. and I had to really capture me in a sense. It, once I started walking in my truth, I wanted all of it. <laughs> I wanted my whole truth to be out. You know, I wanted my, you know, I wanted my life to shine. I literally did. Yeah. And um, it's a beautiful thing. Um, you want to play and, your, you want to, yeah. You yeah. Wanna, let your light shine. So let that light shine. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, I'm, you know, I'm happy. I'm enjoying life. Good. I, you know, I wrote a book. I'm doing things that that was always there. That, but, you know, when we hold in all these things, it tends to we, we find ways to um, we cover truth. And a lot of ways, you know, we we do that. It's not good because it's stressful. You know, we bring on these stresses and these habits. You know, that's a lot of people are drinking themselves to death because they won't talk themselves to death. Yeah, you know, to life, to life. Yeah, they're just... self-medicating. They're hiding. They wear not yeah. like they're wearing all these personas. We call them personas in psychology. The mask you mentioned, and they're they're mm -hmm. playing all these different life roles, and then and it's and the truth isn't expressed, and so they just self-medicate with alcohol and drugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm not necessary so not necessary <laughs> but you know it's yeah it's 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 free yeah and it's i want to commend you for writing a book too to express all this yes in my book i yes in my book i talk about i'm very transparent yeah. um my story i want it to be it was one of the most difficult um books to write I versus I mean it took me years to to actually finish the book because I kept putting it on the shelf putting it on the shelf nope just put it on the shelf and what finally I'm like you know what no it's okay it's okay to walk in your truth and share your truth it's okay who cares what people say or think they have their own truth people have their own truths yeah. And so, you know, I decided I'm going to walk in mine, share mine, tell mine, because it's not all bad. You know, uh, it's all about and my book is basically about what happens in a lot of marriages. It's just that mine was, you know, based with on homosexuality. Somebody else's may be based on a lie or like I said, alcohol, whatever it is, you know, yeah. um, it's that you inspire others to do the same. I inspire others to do the same. Absolutely. And um, that's, that, that's my heart. I really want um, people to know that it's, you know, it's okay to walk in truth and um, deal with your marriages and relationships. And even before you get in a relationship to really stop and think about, hey, you know, what am I getting into? Have I, we've, we've covered all the bases of life and what you've got and, 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 um, you know, where you're going in life and how many kids you want and the house you want. You covered all those bases, but to cover the basis of, you know, who are you? Knowing who that person is, being, you know, transparent, being authentic. Yeah. And, um, you know, because that that is what's going to save your marriage. Walk in and, you know, just being authentic. Mm -hmm. And um, that's walking in really who you are so that, you're the person you're taking on your journey doesn't have to experience someone else some who the person you know you become this whole different person now they got to figure out oh, that's not the person I'm married you know and 
So now it's important, I think. Now that you're these, sleeping yeah. up here, wait a minute, who's this person? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you could be having fun and enjoy life and marriage, you, you know, you're spending time trying to get to know the person and, you know, that you thought you knew before you got married. And that's no fun. <laughs> You can have fun before the marriage. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. even another thing too, even if you're in the marriage, I think finding a way to have fun by being authentic and transparent. If one is transparent, it helps the other to be exactly. transparent. So, well, let me just tell you what I went through and what I did, you know, and, and then now you, you can actually glean off one another and say, hey, you know what? At the end of the day, we're not two perfect people and it's okay, you know, right. but you can, you can rest in knowing that, hey, we're, we're open, honest, and our communication gap and our love can go to the next level because now we have no boundaries, zero boundaries. Yeah. So I think that's important. Yeah, I use the analogy if, uh, if we were going uh, <clears> to... <throat> If we were romantically involved and uh, I start taking my clothes off to get physically intimate with you and then as I'm taking my clothes off you look at me like <laughs> I'm like that I'm gonna be like uh you know what I'm gonna put my clothes back on you know never mind you know that's that's okay but it's the same thing psychologically mm -hmm. if I start revealing my truth to you and you look at me like, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to be like, you know what? Let me, let me not uh, live in my truth because I feel fear of rejection right now. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I don't feel good. Um, and so if we want people to be more truthful in, our, in their relationships, then we have to make sure that we're not coming across in a judgmental way. Absolutely. And, that will, and we have to make sure that we take our clothes off. Because if I take my clothes off, then you'll feel more free to take your to clothes take off. Your clothes off. Mm -hmm. If I take my clothes off and you keep yours on, right? The thing that's gonna make me go, you know what? I thought, let me put my clothes back on. Right. So it's the same oh. thing emotionally and psychologically. Right. So the more you reveal, then people get inspired to, to reveal as well. Mm -hmm. But if I reveal and you don't reveal, then it's gonna close me back up when we're just li living like this. Versus right. Like this. And listening to that person too. I think being empathetic. Yeah. And I, I can honestly say, I honestly say, because we were so, you know, we were young. I, I didn't know how to be, I didn't know nothing about being empathetic and being a good listener. You right. know, I was just, I, I can, I'll truly say I was judgmental. What? You're what? That's on the, on the, what? I, <laughs> what? Oh my God. So yeah. I may have played a part in him even going that much more. I, I'm not going to say may have. I played a part that much more into shoving him into a shell of not wanting to talk yeah. because I judged, you yeah. know, I judged him. I judged his character. Exactly. And when you, when you do that, it, it causes people to retract, you know, um, to, to um, hold back and it shuts people down. It'll shut a person down, you exactly. know? Exactly right. Um, so, you know, uh, again, all the more reason to live your truth up front. <laughs> mm -hmm. so absolutely for the people that are not feeling you ain't gonna be worried with you they'll go over here absolutely so but if you you playing a, a note that's not yours and then you'll get that and it's not gonna work not gonna work and then when you finally decide to reveal people be like what the hell <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> absolutely you told me this long time ago Abso absolutely absolutely okay. right courage courage absolutely I yeah. have a quote. I don't know who said it, but uh, the quote was, and I and I'm really and, and the older I get, this I really appreciate this because that's it says um, um, the key to happiness is freedom. Oh, and the key to freedom is courage. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh. So, so if you want to be happy, you got to be brave. You got to be courageous. You got to be brave, brave. Gotta be courageous to be free. Absolutely. And once you're free, then you'll have happiness. Absolutely. Woo. Yeah. It starts with courage. It starts with courage. Yeah. Coming out and, and being courageous and saying, look, like the alcoholic goes, 
I am an alcoholic at the uh, AA Anonymous. Is yeah. that's the courage to say, and, yes. you know, say this yes. is who I am. You yes. know, yes. that's the even first if step. To over, if you've been clean this over two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years, you still say I'm an alcoholic because now mm -hmm. you're not in denial. Now you're in you're in touch with the truth, and now you can live accordingly. But once you're in Absolutely. denial, <laughs> is when you you put yourself in situations that's going to muck you up. Yeah. Yeah, and everybody else around you. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It mucks up everybody. Yeah. <laughs> That's just not a good thing. But oh my God, wow. You know, I'm glad you shared. I don't know how long we've been here. I know we said we probably do. We were yeah. like, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, but this has been so good. I mean, this has been so good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you said yes, because I was like, you know, this is the doctor and yeah. who am I, you know, he's, he's going to be like, girl, go get your life. But you were like, sure. And I'm like, yeah. yes. yes. <laughs> well, I've enjoyed it. Like I said, I've, I started reading your book. I haven't finished yet. And it's, I was really impressed by how well written it was. I was like, wow, she's a great, she's a great writer. And, uh, and, I, and I also admired again, the courage that you have to express and tell your story. And uh, yeah. because it, it shows courage on your part, it also it helps and inspires other people um, uh, to live their life and to uh, play their note to express their truth. And uh, uh, kudos to you for that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, that's my story. Thank you. Yeah. For Thank you. Like I say, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you tell the truth, it's all good. Yeah. But thank you, Dr. Turpo. All right. Thank and, you for um, having me. All right. You take care. And for those, uh, look, I was so excited about you being on my interview. I'm like, this is just so great. Look, I forgot my book, but <laughs> and I'm not going to run and get it. So my <laughs> book is part of, for those out there who uh, watched the interview today, I don't have my book. I mean, I have it, but I'm not going to leave the scene, leave the scene mm -hmm. trying to get it. But it's Pardon My Truth on Amazon. And uh, you can just type in part of my truth and it'll come up by Kim Hart. Or you can go to my website, which is part of my truth by Kim Hart.com. Okay. And um, you can get it that way too. Or the ebook also on Amazon. So I'm coming up with the, coming out with the auto, um, audible book as Good. well soon. I'm looking forward to that. But again, thank you so much. Hopefully we can do some more from yeah. some more sharing together. I'm sure. Um, there's so much more we can talk about. This is great. And um, I appreciate, again, um, taking the time out because you didn't have to do this. You really did not have to do this. So this meant a great deal to me. And, and good to see you mm -hmm. uh, after so many years. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy well. it. Good job. <laughs> All right. Peace. Bye-bye.